How are you, Dad? I'm fine, Kiducho. Why are you back so late? I've had a crazy day. We played football and learned math. You have been learning math? Nice, Kiducho. But what did you learn? Positive and negative numbers. Such as? Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Ah, and what if I asked you negative 3 times negative 2? Oh, come on, Dad. I'm tired. Let's watch TV. Hmm, okay. Hmm, if you're so tired, why don't you go to your room and rest? I'm watching the soldiers. Don't you know I want to be a soldier someday? <laughs> Being a soldier's hard work, all sweat and tears, you really think you could do it? All those boot camp workouts, could you take it? I can do it, Dad. Let me show you. To the left and turn. To the back and turn. See, I can do it. <laughs> you think the soldiers get to direct their own parade? Someone else gives them instructions, then they have to follow. Can you follow instructions? Of course I can. Okay then, listen carefully now. I'm going to instruct you on a very special parade called the Multiplication Parade. Two steps forward, march. Two more steps forward, march. For the last time now, two steps forward, march. <laughs> You've done well, Kiduchu. Hey, tell me now. How many total steps have you walked? Two, 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 six in total. Okay. We can sum that up by saying two steps times two. Two steps times two. Do you understand? One, two, pa, pa. One, two, pa, pa. One, two, pa, pa. In a multiplication parade, there can be both negative and positive numbers. You want me to show you? Mm. Don't you want to be a soldier? I really do, Dad. Show me, show me. In the multiplication parade of positive and negative numbers, you have to listen to the instructions very carefully. This negative sign shows you to turn. For the first negative sign, you turn to the left. Then you move towards the negative side. And if there's another negative side, you turn to the other side. Chop! That's the positive direction. Then if there's another negative, you turn again. Chop! You get it? Okay, let's try it out. The first march, negative two times negative two. First negative, turn. Second negative, turn. Two times two, march. So what do you think you'll get now? It's positive four. Well done, Kiduchu. You really could be a soldier. Ah, Dad, I understand. So if it's negative two times negative two times negative two, it'll be like this. First negative, second negative, third negative. Two times two. Times two. Okay, so how much is that now? Negative eight. Aha. So, negative two times negative two times negative two is negative eight. Well done. Phew, Dad. I am really tired now. Can I go rest? But I really did like the multiplication parade. Hiruchu, walk like a soldier. Very nice. Well done, Hiruchu. <laughs> But mama, if you multiply a negative times negative, what do you get? Explain it, mama! 
a negative times a negative. In Kiswahili, we'd say hasi. That means negative. For example, negative three times negative four. Let's look at those negatives first. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Negative times negative is positive. That's right. A negative times a negative is positive. So, three times four is what, children? Twelve. What's that in Kiswahili? And negative times negative is positive. So, negative three times negative four is positive twelve. Uh, that's right. It's positive twelve. So then, what's negative three times negative four times negative two? Use your brains, kids. <laughs> you can answer that yourselves. Just give it some thoughts and you can do it. We already know that negative three times negative four is positive twelve. So now, what's positive 12 times negative 2? Positive times negative is negative. Positive times negative is negative. And 12 times 2 is 24. So the answer is negative 24. So, all together, repeat for me. Negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 2 is negative 24. Wonderful! <laughs> you make me happy! <laughs> well done! Come on! It's time for music! Mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your garlic, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far here's something else for you to count can you count the teeth in my mouth we can measure width length and depth and represent with x y and z math is used for everything just do the numbers in your head now try to add up all the spots on my neck how many do you see and i even use math to get leaves off the tree Yeah, yeah. 
Never miss out on new Ubalgo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubalgo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubalgo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubongo Kids family.